Hello and welcome, Mr. Basic here. We're going to do another VCV rack video. It's been a little while for me. Um, this video is um, thanks to uh, Typical Analytical. He has his own YouTube channel, and I'll link that in the description as well to this video, um, where you can find out um, his channel, and he did, does some VCV uh, videos, has some, some uh, VCV videos on his channel as well. Um, and he figured something out that I had uh, um, basically uh, given up on, uh, on fixing, and I was just like, all right, I'm just going to deal with it the way it is. But um, he figured out something new, and it. Um, well, we're going to see if it solves the problem today. Uh, and um, if it does, then this video will be a definite success, and I'll post it. Now, there's going to be a lot more um, things going on uh, in VCV Rack to do videos on right now um, that I would like to be uh, finishing videos based on, uh, like the new Erica Synths um, delay that they've got in here. Um, but, um, that'll be for another video. All right. Now, I just want to thank you again, Typical Analytical, for, um, figuring this out and seeing that it works. So the problem, um, my problem that I didn't mention in the, my last video, uh, uh, about how I use the Novation Launch Control XL with VCV Rack. What I didn't mention is that the buttons didn't work. Most of the buttons didn't work. The only ones that I could get to work were the Track Select ones and I think the Send Select. But as you can see, I've got this Launch Control XL. This is what I use. So these buttons here, None of those I could send CCs from, nor these other ones over here on the right. Just these ones that have the arrows on them. And so that's what I used to do run and stop on my clock um, and, uh, and whatnot. But so um, typical analytical said that this new... Um, MIDI to CV module, this blue one over here to the left, um, in VCV rack, as opposed to the regular VCV module, um, it actually does, uh, end up allowing the Novation Launch Control XL's buttons to work as they should, to send CCs as they should. So um, we're going to see if that is in fact true. So this may be a kind of a short video, but we may just keep on going either way um, if we're having fun. So I hope you guys enjoy and gals. And let's get going. Okay. So I want to start out by seeing if uh, um, so we click on it here by seeing if one of these actually works so what we do is I press um, what would be the mute button on my launch control XL okay it says mapping and then we click on this and there we go so it looks like it successfully did it and then so I press um, this one for the solo. Perfect. This one. And just keep on going. We'll do this really quick. Yeah, so there's the first four tracks already. Yeah, that's really easy. 
I mean, I could get going fast and then make a mistake, but so far, this is working out pretty well. Okay, now there's eight tracks here that are potential stereo tracks going uh, in, and then there's the master. But I think what I want is um, to either, I think I want uh, the master fader. And so, or in the master mute for to be the eight on my controller, track eight. So I'll do that. Like mapping this C4, and then to that master mute, and then then this one can be the dimmer, just in case things go crazy. I don't need a dimmer. Maybe I'll use that button for something else. Okay, so I've got a I've got a complete mute. Um, so that's that. So let's do our faders. And yeah, that'll be quick. This should be right, right? Yeah, there we go. And then this one click and fader number three I move it and then click and then fader number four I move it and then click fader number five I move it and then click fader number six move it and click fader number seven move it and click and fader number eight I'm gonna have be the master and Let's bring all these all the way back up to where they should be. Let's put them at zero on the hardware, on the MIDI controller, and see if that works. And that puts it pretty much where it should be. Okay. And then... Uh, and then what else? So then, do I want panning on, on, uh, do I want panning to be mapped? No, because I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to use the panning. Um, what else do I want mapped? Well, what I want is I want reverb on all the tracks. And so what we, what we do to do that is go over here to our sends. And so, um, We've got the four different colors, the red, orange, blue, and purple aux sends and returns. So how we do this is if we want our reverb all on our um, lowest row, which is our most accessible row uh, out of the three rows of knobs on my controller here. So the lowest row of the three rows. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put um, effects, if I put effects on, I'll put them on um, B, C, and D. And D will be my reverb, and that'll be my most important one. So that kind of li will line up. So the D down here, um, this row on the, the aux sends where, I, where my... Uh, where my control uh, cursor is, this purple row is gonna be the closest to this bottom row of knobs on my controller, and then it'll be like the next row up and the next row up, right? So, and I don't think I'll want to add, uh, you know, all four aux sends all the time. Most of the time, not. But anyway, that's another story. So let's take this, what we want to do is we've got all the tracks here. So we've, these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So that's what we'll do. We go one through seven. And we'll start out with this knob, move the knob, and click. Move the knob, and click. Move the knob, click. Move the knob, click. Move the knob for track five, click. Move the knob for track six. Move the knob for track seven. And then we're not gonna have, ever have anything mapped on track eight. So instead that'll be a master reverb. And so our master reverb is here uh, just under this row where the whole aux D is. And then, um, so this knob here is our master reverb gain uh, or reduction. And so we're going to go with that one. We're going to go track eight, reverb, boom. So that's our master reverb. And then, so the blue aux C here, the next row up from D, is going to be a row of delay knobs for, for each, for each, for track, each track. And um, so, yeah, so we'll, same thing. Go do, do it with the whole row because this is my template. This is what I'm going to work with all the time so that I always know what my controller does even without looking at it, even without looking at the screen. Track four, track five. You notice how I was doing this like while I'm talking to you. It's really that easy. Just move the knob and then click. And another thing I didn't say initially about all of that stuff is um, back in previous videos that it was a little glitchy. Sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't with the other MIDI module with the Novation Launch Control XL. I haven't, it doesn't seem like this uh, has shown me any glitches so far. Boom, master delay. Okay, so, you know, I could have actually mapped these the fader of the master delay or the master reverb to that knob. Um, but I decided to go ahead and, like the fader value, but I decided to go in, go ahead and make it the gain value instead. And, you know, there, there'll be some differences as to why you'd want to do it one way or another, but that kind of depends on your situation maybe, or the way you want to work. Okay, it's another conversation for another day. Now, what besides these am I going to want? I want my reverb and delay. Um, most of the time, I'm not going to want any other effect on. Um, however, a compressor might be nice if because there might just be things that really need a boost. Well, that's why I decided to put drive on initially, but... So anyway, I'll click anywhere outside of this, and now we're not mapping anymore. And thank you very much, uh, technical... I mean, sorry, typical analytical, um, for tipping me off on this new module that does exactly the same as VCV's module. This is also free with their package, their uh, uh, Stower Melders... Uh, free package that you can get for VCV rack as well. Um, it's all free. Everything. Okay, so um, now, I guess, before we end the video, we should just try it all. And um, and so here we go. Um, I'm moving the... Well, let's let's show it. Can we show it? Here we go. All right, so moving the faders. And uh, notice on both the hardware here and and uh, 
BCV and the mixer here that we that they're moving on both. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Move in. Move in the second one. Yeah. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. This isn't affecting the audio at all. My microphone is through OBS. Oh, and the last one is the master. There we go. Okay, and um, let's try our uh, delay gain. See that blue knob? That's our reverb gain or reduction. The purple knob. I think that gives more control than that master fader underneath it um, for the for the effects sends. Okay, so now we do the try the reverb knobs. This purple row of reverbs. Yep. One, two, three, four work. Now let's go down to the others. Five, six, seven purple knob works. All right. And then blue knobs for delay. Yeah. I'm going to add a delay module to be in that scent. And then I'm going to add a reverb module to be in the purple. And we're good to go. All right. Well, and I forgot the whole point to this video. <laughs> Do the buttons work? <laughs> Here's the buttons. Mute, 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 mute. Oh, guess what? You have to hold it down. Huh. Oh, okay. So, um, if I chain, so that's the thing is I got to change the, um, way that that, I change it from a toggle. Input note for modes. Uh, to a toggle. Okay, now try it. Now it's a toggle. There you go. And we'll just do that for all of them. Input modes, toggle. Okay. Toggle. And we're going to do that for all of these. And so once you, you change the input mode to toggle instead of momentary, do you understand? Like, you can kind of understand by the just the wording. Uh, so just make sure you send you make all the buttons into toggle for the mute and uh, and solos because that's what mutes and solos are supposed to be in particular. Okay. And once you've done that, um, you're good to go. And thank you again, Typical Analytical, for tipping me off to the new MIDI Cat uh, module. I don't know if it's new or not, but it's new to me, and I love it. All right, enjoy everybody. Take it easy.